What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this neat but very simplistic Twitter logo. Um, as you can see there's very few parts, it's just this bird here and the uh, simple text and I'll show you how I kind of made these little palettes with the T on it. Um, it's very easy, actually the hardest step is just making this bird right here. but it's really easy through the use of splines. I'm going to put all of the pictures and the fonts that I used in the description below and maybe in some annotations, but um, look in the description below if you need the pictures that we're going to be using or the fonts. Um, I'll put those in there, everything you guys need. Everything's free. Um, you don't have to go through any ads or anything like that. So um, let's get started. I'm just going to walk through this, this, this project file right here and show you guys sort of how I made it um, just through the use of splines, simple mo text, and uh, some materials. So let's f first get started on the uh, bird. Basically if we go to our per, uh, front view, sorry, if we go to our front view, um, you can see I have this picture in the back. If you need to know how to load a picture into the back of this, for reference you go to edit, configure, you click on the back tab and then under image these three dots right here you click that and you load your image and then it will put this image on the back now what I basically did was I traced this bird and it would give me a spline this spline right here and you make that spline a child of an extrude nerves and it turns into this and you can mess around with the movement to uh, get the thickness you want, like so. But um, I had it at about 20. And so basically, what I did is you can use any spline that you're comfortable with using. But the one that I used to trace was an akimba spline. And if you want one tip um, you might need is if, usually if you click right here to make a start making a spline, you'll have this. Um, if you need this axis to move out of your way, you can hold down Alt-D and um, it will remove that. And so all I'm doing is using my mouse to click and just sort of trace this bird. I'm doing it real fast because you know, I don't have to do it perfectly, um, but if I was... Like when I when I very first made this project file, um, I was doing it very carefully to see if I could get the exact shape. But for tutorial purposes, you know, basically you can just click, you know, you know that's a messy sketch, but um, you know what I mean. And you will end up with uh, this spline right here. Um, this is a pretty, uh, pretty perfect, this is as perfect, like, perfect as I could get it, um, trace outline of this bird. I put it into an extrude nerves. It made it 3D, put the movement at 20 right here, and I got this. And now for the material, I just made a simple new material, put the color to a light blue, reflection is for now, and I gave it a little bit of specular, and that's pretty much it. And I put it on there, and it looks like this. And then for this scene setup, I just have some composited backgrounds and a simple light, and that's it. Um, for the text, it's just some simple mo text. Um, again, I'm going to put the fonts in the description. The font for the T, W, I, T, T, and R are the same font, but the font for the E is different. So I'm going to put um, that link to the website in there. So basically, I have my text here. I just highlighted this E went into font and changed it. Um, and that's pretty much it. All these letters are lowercase and I added the same um, material to it except maybe I would make it a little bit darker, just a tiny bit. Now for these palettes, this was also really easy. I just used the T from this text right here. And if I zoom in on here, you can see I have this white outline right here. I'll leave the font to this. This right here, this white outline, is just a T, but it's filled in as if you used kind of like a paint bucket to fill it in. And so I typed a T, kind of put that right there, and then um, the T from that other Mo text and layered it on top. Um, so again, this is this white space is just a filled in letter T. Now for the 
pallets right here. If I render this out, you can see they're sort of layered. Um, I have three flattened squares with the fillet checked. So when you so let's create an example here. If I make a sphere and let's bring back my grid. If I make a sphere, let's bring it over here. And I go under the object right here and I check fillet. You can see it will round out the edges. And basically what I did is I just flattened it. Um, I just flattened it this uh, in the um, let's see what what axis is this? Um, let's see, there we go. Z axis. Sorry about that. Flattened it in the Z axis and um, got it like that, and then added materials to it. As you can see, um, let's delete this cube. I have a um, blue cube, a white cube, and then another blue cube, sorry about that, blue cube, um, and that is pretty much it. Um, I just added a simple light, um, the materials are all real basic, and you have your Twitter logo. So uh, thank you for watching everyone, I'm going to be creating a tutorial next on how to create the Words with Friends logo. Um, if you want to see my rendered picture of that, I'll leave a video link in the description, and thank you guys for watching.